Hello, hello. Welcome on in to another Monday Live with the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. That I'm guy over there is Matt. Still getting his camera all set up. Apparently, still, I did not totally do this. Am I we're still pouring over here. We're still trying to get things going, but we wanted to go ahead and get things started for you here on a Monday evening. Welcome on in. Happy to have you here, Matt. Who do we already have in the chat? While I start, while I continue pouring all of these these all massive right. numbers of freaking whiskeys in front of me. All right, let's see what we've got so far. We've got AJ Lopez, One Lost Cause, Spencer Mav. Of course, the thing's all flipping around on me. We got Stephen T. How's it going? Richie Z, Donald Rance, Trey Koontz. Uh, let's see here. So Wesley Zeller, Scott Moody. How's it going, guys? So we decided tonight we would do a really fun one. There's our buddy, Bull Bath Bourbon. You guys have check out Bull Bath Burdens. Please check out his. And while my alarm goes off from people coming in my house. Somebody's home. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Glad to have you home. Yes. So anyway. Uh, let's see, got Bull, so check out Bull Bass Bourbon. We got Jesse Page in here. And so, what we're doing for this evening is Buffalo Trace. We did Mashville 2 like a year and a half ago, but you almost never see Mashville ones, especially definitely not one like we're doing tonight. You'll see a few basic bitch ones, but that's about it. Basic bitch. We, we did not do the basic bitch version. We're doing the like ultimate freaking uh, one of these. There's 15 whiskeys in here this evening. Starting, we're all going to start with the white dog. I mean, this is what it all starts as. This the main. Oh, damn it! The best thing about this is it all starts as this, and becomes all these other amazing things. Now, maybe not benchmark. That's probably not the most amazing thing, but it just started four year Buffalo Trace. You know, obviously turns into Buffalo Trace, which is you know six to eight years approximately. Nine proofer. Uh, let's see, we've got old charter. Be beautiful here. It used to be an eight year. Now they still put an eight on it. I don't really know how they get away with it. So it's not an eight year. It's just bullshit. But you know, I guess somehow that's okay. It's not technically part of the label, but whatever. All right, we got the Charter Oak Canadian. We have the Charter Oak Chickapin Oak. We have the Charter Oak Mongolian Oak. We have the Kosher rye recipe here, the 94 proof. Let's see. We have the standard Eagle Rare 10 year. Then, which is one that almost no one gets the opportunity to do. Eagle Rare 17's in there this evening. So this is exciting. I know I've never given this to Will and Sarah, so this is a fun one. We have Stag Jr. Batch 14's in there. We have... George T. Stag, the 2020. Got that. We have E.H. Taylor, small batch. E.H. Taylor, single barrel. And E.H. Taylor, barrel proof. So. I'm just thinking now we should have made Matt big for all of that. Yeah. So, oh, it's all right. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you watching the replay of this, what we are going to be doing here is sipping through 15 blinds, actually starting after we start with A. I guess I should pour that into the glass, too, so we can so start 14 with something. Because so we're going to be sipping through 14 of these. Uh, and we're probably going to do the reveal, what do you say, about midway through, Matt? Depends how fast we go. Yeah, it depends on how quickly we can get through this, uh, but we're going to be completely blind. Uh, we're not going to be telling the letters of what we're drinking to Matt because he knows he knows what letters are what. He's drinking his completely blind. Uh, he's mixed up his glasses and everything's written on the bottom of his. Uh, so we're just going to kind of be taking notes and sipping on some whiskeys and uh, ranking what we like best and worst in the Buffalo Trace uh, Mash Bill number one. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's so, right. Yeah. So this is the low rye mash bill, less than ten percent. Theoretically, you know, because God forbid Buffalo Trace tells what the hell they're actually doing, but whatever. But that's what it is. Um, and then there's Bourbon Ball. How's it going? Good to see you. So yeah, so we got that. And our sample we are using this is an unopened bottle of B. H. Taylor. We are get, we got the sample of that from Tammy and Brian Brennicky of the 2019. It's 129.3 on that one. Ooh. 
So yeah, so the proofs on the stag, this one is 130.4. The stag is 130.2. Eagle rare uh, 17 is 101. You're not allowed to put water in that. Mongolian is 90. Let's see, the chickapin is 93. And the Canadian is 92. The kosher is 94. Eagle Rare is 90, Bull Trace is 90, Benchmark and Old Charter 80. So yeah, all sorts of really fun, cool stuff. What's my screw for this uh, white dog? This thing is hot, hot, 125. Hot. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, that well, cool. I opened up several of these for this stream. So, yeah, obviously, it's clear it's the white dog. Yeah. It's amazing. So, the whole point of this Ooh. is not only to prove what we really like blind, but to prove that it all starts as the same thing and it makes all these amazing products anywhere from four years up to 17 years is what this ends up being. So it's a lot of fun. And I don't know what how this is going to turn out, but it should be very interesting. Indeed, indeed. Hey, everyone. How's it going? <sighs> yeah, so Donald just posted the Discord link there. Go on over and join that if you haven't already. That's tons of fun. Mm-hmm. But the other thing is tonight for Super Chats, we decided – that we will give somebody a selection of three of these of their choice for, as the giveaway this evening. And there's some really killer bourbons you probably have always wanted to try in this selection this evening. So let us know if you guys like that plan. If that's a good plan, you know where to push that button. Got some good things up in there. I'll say, I'll tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. <laughs> hey, Whiskey Stone Ryan, how's it going? Good to see you. Got Scott's got some. Lone Elm single barrel, very nice. So good I'm choice, start good choice. At a completely random place as far as smelling these go, so that you know what I'm talking about is definitely not, you know, B. You yeah. Know, that doesn't Matt knows I'm not just working my way through it the, the, the normal <sighs> way. I want to know what you think of that white dog first. That's what I want to know. Oh, that's fair. I mean, we, gotta, we gotta have a base. It's very, very corny. It's corn forward. Yeah, it tastes like corn. It's well it, it smells and tastes like corn. If you've ever been in a distillery, um <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's what a distillery smells like essentially. Yeah, it's what you get. Essentially, yeah. It does yeah. not smell like bacon. It does not smell like bacon. No. No. Ben, ah, no Blantons. No, no Blantons tonight. That's not in this mash bill. No, nope, that was mash bill too. Yeah, we well, did that mash bill. That all was right, a good night too. Mm -hmm. That's our buddy, Mister Whiskey Shits. How's it going? I'm from Live Wire Whiskey. I haven't checked out their channel. Please check out this. He's got to yell at his kids now. So, <laughs> um, we tried that Buffalo Trace kosher already, didn't we? We did the um, the straight rye. That was the rye. That, this is the rye recipe. This is the bourbon. I gave you guys the rye. Gotcha. Gotcha. So yeah, we'll we'll do a rye night as well at, at some point. But I I do not have the Saz 18s, the one we're lacking for that night. So once we get that, we'll be good. But what is mash bill one? It is corn, barley, and rye. The low rye under 10% is what it is for. That's that's the most definition they'll give us from Buffalo Trace. Unfortunately, they won't give any, any give us any percentages, but that's what that is. Whereas, you know, so whereas number two is all your Blantons and uh, you know, Elmer T. Lee and Rocco Farm, things like that, which is the high rye, which is between is around 15%, supposedly. That's the theory that, that they give us. Oh, they will give us away, but you know, whatever. Hmm. It is what it is. So this smells yummy. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling all of these are going to smell yummy, though. Well, yeah. I mean, this I think is a couple like, will be watery, but I think after yeah. that, I think it's going to be, you know, well, fairly I mean, interesting compared to what we're used to. Ooh, whatever that is, that's majority awesome. of them are going to be watery. Oh, that smells good. Okay, whatever that one I picked up, that smells great. But you're going to get a lot of, uh, that smells like bourbon because, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gonna smell, well, I would hope they're all going to smell pretty darn similar. Fairly similar. Then they should, theoretically. Yeah. yeah, this one smells like super chocolatey, though. This first one I picked up. <sighs> yeah, Ooh, Scott, Marie Lunel is a hidden gem for sure. They are doing good things over there. That they are. Okay. Oops. And the hardest part is when you're going to find someone you really like off the bat in the nose and be like, eh, the rest kind of suck. Right. Or muted. Like, whatever the hell I picked the first one was like, it smelled amazing. The rest are kind of muted so far at this point. 
Uh, that is correct, everyone. Yes, yeah, so, that was kind of the point of this. Yeah, everything is going to be age anywhere from four years is the youngest in here, which is the benchmark, up to 17 year, which is the Eagle Rare 17. That's the oldest in here. So yeah, and then like I said, warehouse is the other dif is the other difference. Yeah. For anybody so, just coming ahead. in, super chats get you a chance to pick your three Mashville one samples. Mm -hmm. Uh, where was I? I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, they all have very similar. Yeah, a lot are really close. Especially a lot of these are very close in that 90 range. So they're mm -hmm. a lot of really close. Steven wants to know, I'm old. How do you super chat? In, in the bottom right-hand corner, Steven, there is a dollar sign. Mm -hmm. If you click on that, it will let you put a, a, a dollar amount and um, a message and then it will. You can send it there and add your credit card information, and all that fun stuff. Yes, Travis, we're drinking Tater whiskey. There's a reason it's Tater whiskey, though. It's all smelling really, really yummy. It's <laughs> so our first one of the night here from our buddy Trey. All right, push the button. Thanks, Trey. I appreciate it. Cheers, Trey. Can't reach anything down there without potentially mm -hmm. like yes, knocking, knocking over tonight's thing would be very bad and very expensive. Well, I mean, we've got limited space. This is true, and uh, a lot of glasses. So yeah. Okay, so everyone's got some great questions here. So everyone wants to know is so warehouse selection is really temperature driven, and see they used uh, heat cycle warehouses with Buffalo Trace, so. Yes, it is important. And really, um, like the high and the low is going to be your biggest thing with them, whereas they kind of control temperature control a lot of their things at Buffalo Trace. But the high and low, of course, it does get a lot colder, colder and hotter in there. Of course, not as hot and cold as Texas. They get snippy. So they have their cold there actually, you know, basically is dormant, kind of like Scotland does. But their heat is obviously significantly more than Scotland. So they get a lot more fluctuation. Right. Heat, especially the higher the Rick House, the more fluctuation you're going to have on it. Ooh. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, there's, a, mm -hmm. there's quite there's a, a couple few of, them of those like, in here. Ooh. Tonksy. That smells really nice. Ooh, that one does not. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I just smelled the same. What the hell? That was weird. Oh my. <sighs> What the hell? This one's weird. This one's really woody and weird. Oh, it's uh, like one of the liqueurs, like the one of the freaking liqueurs, is bizarre. This one's like, hmm. Oh, very nice. Here. Our buddy Steven, yeah. twenty-five dollars. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Steven. We appreciate it. Cheers, Steven. All right. Yeah, that one there was pretty, pretty. Uh, Pretty bland on the nose. Like there wasn't a much, much going on to do in there. Y'all from our got? got moody. What'd you got? I Greenery. Can't, I can't read what you said. You said on that one. This one. That one. See, no. Great stuff, y'all. Don't forget to hit the <laughs> like button. That's what button. I got too. That's what you wrote. Thank oh. you very much, Scott. Appreciate it. Cheers, Scott. Yeah, the like and the dislike button bump us up on the algorithm. Either one you push, I, we, doesn't really matter. Right. Delicious. Definitely gonna shoot. Okay. Let's Glad see. to have you here. Hey, Gary. Right. So everyone wants to know. So higher temperature really increase bone influence. Do they different chars on the barrels? Yes, higher uh, barrel influence. As far as I know, Buffalo Trace only uses the number three. I can't remember using a different chart level than that. As far as I know, they only use yeah. three at Buffalo Trace, except for like their experimental barrels. That's the only, and then they use some different. Uh, the only other ones that don't do chart is of a different type. Is the different types of oak. Most of these are American oak, except for these special ones, the Canadian, Mongolian, and the Chickapoo. Mm. Is the only different oaks. These the rest are to be American oak. Hey Jeffrey Wack, how's it going? But yes, yeah, no, so the temperatures do make a big difference on the barrel different. influence. Okay, I got one here. Good to find you. Good to see you, Galen. Hope you're Appreciate not floating away yeah. down there, Galen. Yeah, for real. You guys have got the rain for days. Hey, Jason Coates, how's it going? Good to see you. Stacey H., good to see you. Mm. Not a big burden. I really like my flow tracks. Wire bell balance. Yes, absolutely. Well, good news is a lot of times we do Scotch, Irish. We cover everything under the sun, Japanese. So if you don't like bourbon, well, it's definitely be a night you will like. 
I promise you that. That's not going to be an issue. How many buffaloes in each barrel, Ben wants to know? How many buffaloes in each barrel? <laughs> Good question, Ben. I don't know. It depends on which expression. Yeah, the older you get, the more buffaloes it takes. The real one. The real question is, do they make it with a buffalo dung? That's kind of like the Floki version that the uh, buffalo trace is the I buffalo think, dung. I think we'd be able to tell. I, I don't know. We haven't tried it yet. You wouldn't know. We, we need to find that out. I mean, you can definitely tell a difference with the Floki. There's no doubt. Floki is, a, is I like Floki. It is a, definitely a weird single malt. Yeah, we got some raptors mm -hmm. running the tall grass at this point. <laughs> I bet you do, man. <laughs> I bet you do. We yeah, a lot of these are very similar. There's a couple that are bizarre. Hey, D DMC, good to see you. Yeah, indeed. Well, this is a valid point. And bubble bourbon, but bubble bubble bath bourbon makes a good point. American oak always flares me because there's dozens of native and even more non-native. That's a valid point. Generally, it's white American white oak, which I know is still not super helpful because, as you said, there's multiple kinds of species of oak. Obviously, it's like exactly there's tons of different kinds, but certain ones are obviously better than others. But you know, it is what it is. Like I said, Buffalo Trace not exactly forthcoming with what the hell they do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, That's Swedish. It. Yes. The only Swedish whiskey I've tried, I think, is McNamara from Travis. He gave me some. It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. Have you tried a tasting any of them yet? No. I just keep sniffing them because most of them smell wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of them smell really good. And similar. So it's, yeah. it's taken it's, a hot minute smells, to get it a yeah. little bit more. This one's got a really funky note. Whatever this is. We got one we with a, a funky note, too. This must be one. I'm not thinking this has got one of the charter oaks. It's only going to come up with. See, and that's what that's what I was thinking as well. I've written yeah, which down, one? I don't know. On two of these, I've written down weird oak influences. was like just my first impression because, I mean, obviously, we're smelling back to back to back things that are, you know, incredibly similar uh, on the nose. Yeah, I think the palate's going to be a big difference. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking so too. I'm going to, I'm, I'm bacon priming myself right now. There you go. Speaking of, we have been invited on to, uh, I wish you she wanted at seven o'clock on the 26th to come to a battle against Bill. I don't know if you guys are Bill, but I thankfully that's the day my uh, children do not have karate that day because they're off that week from karate. Okay. Okay. So I'll be, that's at the very least, you'll see me. I don't know if Will and Sarah can join to battle Bill or not. What date is that again? The 26th. It's a Monday night at uh, 7, our time. We should be able to make it happen. Okay. They're sending us some kind of uh, blind flight, but it's, was, I forget, it's like, do you know or something along those lines. I don't know. I'm sure Bobby can explain it whenever they, what exactly what it is. I like a challenge. Oh, Liberty Not Whiskey. How's it going? Not licensed. Ugh. Like a proper looking cat. <laughs> OG Brick 420, good to see you. He's talking about Dozer when he came up. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Yeah, we, should, we almost never see the dog, so. Come here, Dozer. He doesn't get any love on air. He gets he just gets yelled at mostly. Come here. Stop doing whatever you're doing, Dozer. Go lay down. He's Come over here. here with me. Oh, your head doesn't He's fit like, there. Please let me have some bacon. Come on, please give me bacon. Come here. Come on, I'll wait. There you go. Right. There's the Dozer. He said, give me bacon. Bacon. <laughs> smells good. <sighs> Shit. All right, buddy. Lay down. Go. Good boy. Mm -mm -mm. Share the bacon with all the animals that come running. They can bring Absolutely. Them. All right. Let's see. To be fair, scotch is any better. Age in X bourbon barrels, finished in sherry barrels. No, what bourbon? What kind of wood? And what sherry? What kind of wood? Yes, yeah. And then, of course, all of those make a difference. Yes. Like, even if you go to like, let's say you go to Balcones here, they have every freaking thing from Kentucky that they're aging in, and all of them make a difference. Whether it's wild turkey, or it's buffalo <laughs> trace, or it's four roses, or whoever, <laughs> it's or Woodford. It all makes a big difference. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah oh, yes. So see. 100% pure mustard. Good to see you. Cheers. A lot of chance to buy a BT coach for 50, but pass. The rye mushroom is a good one. I, I would agree. The rye one is definitely better than the weeded one for sure. I've tried all three of them. We were lucky enough to try one night, all them together over at Feroz's house. 
Yes, the uh, I think by far the rye recipe and then the straight rye are definitely uh, superior. All right, I guess I'm going to start trying these. Yeah, I just went in for my first one. Hmm. Ah, OG Brick, you must be totally thrilled. You can now apparently grow cannabis and more plants. Sure, you must be a very happy man this evening. Oh, an Irish Wolfhound. That's cool. Cool yeah. dog, but the whiskey is not good. Yeah, Gozer's an old man. He's had plenty of draining. Mm. Plus, he's part red healer, and they're very intelligent. Yeah. All right. Here's my buddy Brad. How's it going? I know which three I'd pick. All right. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate it. He's talking about the three... Uh Three samples that you could choose from of what we're drinking here tonight Ooh. if you enter this Super Chat Challenge that we got going on. I don't know how I feel about that one. And there's our buddy Jason the Mass and Drama. I congratulate him on 50,000 subscribers. That's Cheers, awesome. Jason. Jason. Hell yeah. All right. Daddy. What? 2,400. All right. Let's see. What did I just miss? Hey, Andy. That's Andy. Good to see you. Oh, I tried it red last week. Yeah. Probably like two years ago at Charlie's house, we did all the blends. That was an interesting night. The uh, the red and the black actually were better than some of the than the green. It's those are all you know the red and the black are Japanese, and the green you can usually get up in Canada. You can get it in Japan too, but it's got a little more distribution. Ooh, right. I like that one. Mm. <laughs> Yes, we do have VH Taylors in the flight. We which, do. Which ones? Oh, which ones? Oh, small batch, single like barrel, and barrel proof. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just pour shit. It's which cool. ones are they, Matt? <laughs> That's which ones? Oh, let's see. Here. H and, and, and I. Yes, one, which is the small batch. There we go. This so way you can see the pretty bottles. Well, at least the pretty canisters. <laughs> the uh, this is the single barrel and the uh, barrel proof. So we got all those in there, so you can see that. So yeah, I didn't put like the four grain or the grain of the gods or any of those in here because that would just those since those are different mash bills that wouldn't work because they would be weird and they'd be noticeably different. The only thing, I did put the Charter's Oak in it's the same mash bill, different barrel types. So I thought it'd be interesting just to throw them in there for fun. And I think we know which one of them is. I don't know which one of these ones it is. Just know it's weird. Mm hmm. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, when your dog's stealing the pizza, there's no planning. What? In our house, the cat steals the pizza. Weasley, who must be asleep with the boy right now, doesn't yeah. know it's bacon o'clock. Exactly. Tonks is smart. He's actually taken a, a slice of pizza, run down the hallway with it under the bed. Under our bed, the king size bed, which the only one that can get under there is the kid. Who had to wrestle the pizza slice from, of yeah. pizza from the <laughs> from said kitty cat. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Buffalo Trace to release E.H. Taylor Pringles in those cans. 500 on secondary. Easy. <laughs> Are they going to be bourbon flavored Pringles? Oh, gross. Oh, that would be terrible. So everyone's an interesting question. is Jesus Christ. Says, does anybody think... <laughs> says, does anybody think the Buffalo Trace is withholding stock artificially to drive up demand? Um, I wouldn't think so. With with the demand that they have, especially with, they're international. You know how impossible it is um, to an international market. Uh, you could have so much stock, and I, I don't know. I don't. I don't believe that. I believe I they could be they... stock so that they are could build up an age statement again. I think that's very possible. They could be sitting on stock so that they can, you know, go back to doing some things that they were doing a long time ago. Uh, but I don't uh, know. I don't see them. I think they are withholding on purpose to because of that. They don't have any stocks. 
so they are withholding because it and the other problem is they're giving out crappier barrels because they don't have anything and i think that's a problem interesting yeah because if you taste stuff like let's take blends for example from like the 90s to now it's not even remotely close right it's all older even like dustin will tell you he had stuff like you know H and H is what's in there now, as far as quality goes, compared to stuff from the '90s. Whereas H and H is like really good stuff, and it's fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's just nothing great, right? That's the deal. So, mm. well, we've we've kind of learned throughout drinking a lot of the older bourbons that quality has just kind of diminished over time. Through this pretty much true. all bourbons, the Jim Beam stuff, the old you know, uh, old Taylor. Yeah, but they do control their marketing. A lot so and that is to drive them and where they control the market is they send things to states they shouldn't be and but that's and that's the thing is some stores will get pallets of this crap Ooh. and no one buys it in other states you can't get it to save your life and that's the other thing like andy says here and he ends a valid point and i and i know this like for mirage for example they pull this shit not mirage the buffalo trace pulls this crap making a storms by pallets of crap of garbage you get unicorn drives up prices but that's in distribution, and that's right. They'll make them buy like all this crappy, you know, probably vodka and crap like that, and no one actually wants to drink. But they got to get offload that crap, so somebody's got to buy it, and that's how they control it. They do the distribution. But yes, it's it's so much fun to deal with that. Mm. It, why would it diminish over time? Well, the reason is because they're putting younger and younger stuff into uh, yeah, their box there into the bottles because they don't have anything older to stick in there. And the same thing that happens with scotch now too is you used to have in your blend a lot of older and the same with the bourbon is you get a lot of older stuff blended in with younger stuff and that's your problem. You don't have that anymore. That's the The only ones you're guaranteed in age really on is Eagle Rare, Eagle Rare 17 and the uh the stag the rest of this and the, and you know it's at least four on the eight so i'm sure there are more like eight but still there's just no guarantees on the age of these things anymore you missed the bacon first time and they've taken off the old charters eight years taken off now you know obviously old taylor's not part of this because that's like the bastard son of the thing that made a buffalo trace so they don't talk about it it used to be a six year and the same crap they took it off so it is what it is okay <laughs> well, the funky smell tastes better than this, but it's still weird. Whatever that one is, I don't know. I'm gonna put that over here. Yeah, I mean, you can smell it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What? 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 He's doing their own distribution out. Well, Sazerac is God only knows what we'll get. Holy oh, shit, that's how is that oh, even legal? Because did because in Texas, like a three is you know three tier state, you can't own a distrib distribution. How the hell are they getting around that? Are they getting some kind of weird back backhanded deal that they're owned by a different family member type of crap? I wonder if that's what they're pulling. Wouldn't surprise me. It, it you know that's crazy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now here's a good point. Like everyone says, here's I like the beers and diamonds. They would hold certain cuts, draw with certain cuts of diamonds to manipulate wow. them. Demand and rarity, human value is rare things, so just so things. Go. And you're right, because the bears controls 95% of the freaking diamond market. So it's true. Also, I know that uh, the marketing is done by, by, the, by the Wizard Academy, <laughs> by Roy Williams. He wrote most of those amazing ads. For a fuck ton of money, and good for him. Yeah, and that's probably true where it's allowed. Whereas it's not going to be allowed here. But he's, but you're right. They just don't just won't give you anything then. And that, that's going to be the problem. If they, don't, if they don't give anything to distribution. It won't make any difference. Oh, the price is first born. Oh, lovely. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So yeah, so in Ohio, this is yeah, right. much lower. Not going to distributors anymore. Sap rep, Sazerac reps are invading. I'm sure it's not true in every state. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine having to deal with them. Because then you're really having to buy some garbage mm -hmm. you don't want. It's like, 
how much gin can you take on? How much benchmark can you buy? How many cases? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just keep on talking over there. We're we're talking yeah. about so. Okay, you do that, and I'll keep sipping here and figuring out most of these taste damn near the same. Yeah, uh, when you get into some of the higher proof ones, you can definitely tell. You can really tell. The proof. No. Yeah. The the but, oiliness definitely uh, changes, and I mean, I have no idea if this is the right. I'm guessing that like what three of these are just based on proof and the taste of them and their the age, but you know, we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, there's some stuff MGP. Their their problem right now is they're starting to run out of uh, higher uh, age stated stuff. They're just they're running out because especially like light whiskey and stuff. They had a ton of it. Now they're like, oh, that shit's really good. They're like, uh oh, kind of running out. And you obviously can't beat time, so that's a problem. You don't remember what all the proofs are. Mm -mm. Hi, mm -hmm. Weezy. Higher? No, that was much higher. You are exactly right. That's exactly what they're doing. There's a muscle well, power well, by well, yeah. not a crap to six bottles of BT. You are completely correct. I know they do it for sure. To cover all the crap they can't sell. You are correct. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Gonna write things because they're they're a weasel. He's got a Y a U and a Y and a bunch of sevens. What? <laughs> Delete. Weasley just walked across the Oh I'm going, what the hell are you talking <laughs> about? I don't see this. Well, we got two here. Man, I've tasted about half these. I need a bacon break again. Yeah, we got two of these that are bottled and bond. Okay. It's two of them that are right at 100. I don't remember. We're trying to remember some proofs on these because some of them are very high. Hey, Ritter Nation. Are... Good to see you. Sorry? He's talking to people in chat, not oh, listening. Right, right. Yes, the proofs on some of these are extremely high. This is 130.4 for the stag and 130.2 for the junior. Mm. Okay. That'll be a fun one to find. Which one's which? Yeah, really? Hello. So far, this is really hard. I remember being Dude. number two being really hard as well, but this, this I think is actually harder. Yeah, I haven't gotten into some of the. Oh, I feel like I tasted all the good ones. Maybe not. Well, and I don't know, maybe they're all good. I can't say that I've had the Charter Oaks before to be able to uh, play well, off previous. Yeah, we've only done the Canadian. It's only reviewed the Canadian Oak. Yeah, and it's been so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was several months ago. You know, I'm fairly familiar with the normal Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare and the Stags, but. <laughs> Donald says, whenever someone mentions BT on the Whiskey Tube, music for the Empire should play in the background. <laughs> You're not wrong. The Empire wasn't making things that people actually want to drink. Uh, yeah. Even tell us what your proof is on your Stags unit, or we can tell you what batch it is. Just tell us your proof, and we we'll, we'll have an answer shortly for you. The whiskey community will know. Yeah, you'll have an answer within probably thirty seconds. Wow! Whoa, what the hell just happened? Did a cat just attack the camera? No, the that's dog Dozer. just went for the cat. Mm. No more bacon for you, dude. No kidding. You just lost your bacon rights. Go lay down. One thirty point two. That is batch fourteen. All right, so tons of distillers and whiskey bonders are on using casts from IDL or Cooley. Oh, that's some really good stuff. Seems like MGP is a bigger deal. Well, the problem with MGP, and there's not really a problem. It's not MGP problem. The problem is you had people here that were independent, not even independent, bottling things, not disclosing that it was coming from them, and that was the problem. Right. And so it wasn't that MGP themselves, they didn't do anything wrong. It was the people that bought their stuff and then labeled it incorrectly and didn't put distilled in Indiana, you know, in Lawrenceburg, Indiana or whatever. It's it's their fault, not MGP's. And it was good enough whiskey that they created a following of people that really enjoyed their whiskey. Right. That then found out that it's not really their whiskey. And that's what created the uproar. Exactly. And Templeton, of course, being the uh, the big one for that. Yeah. But in the end, transparency is key. Yeah, I don't care where it I don't was care made. Where it's made. Yeah, yeah I as long as it tastes good. good. Just tell me if if you didn't make it, don't say you did because that's bullshit. Yeah, the turnoff right. is the lying about and it. I, and I think one of the things that we need to get away from in general labels, there should be no more produced, produced by. by. Yeah. Sure or to say the same by. Thing. I don't want to see produced by. I think anymore. there should be a requirement to have a DSP number on it. I think it should be required by law, DSP numbers on everything. I don't you see why not. Disclose, you know, beyond that. 
but I think it must be known where the hell it came from. It just has to be. I mean, MGP, I mean, God, God, they have hundreds and hundreds of freaking recipes, so it doesn't really make any difference. As long as you say, hey, it came from here, and we thought this was really good, and this is, you know, how old it is or whatever, that's, that's fine. Probably in the... I mean, because Remus yeah, 5 will be out soon, and that thing sounds amazing. Well, kind of like, you know, and, and so take, for example, Bottled and Bond requires the DSP number on a thing, and that came up from 1897. Why the hell in today's age is the DSP number no. every single bottle should be no. DSP number? It's bullshit. No. Okay, whatever you found, apparently it's not good. Why did you give me that whiskey? I think it's the one I've got in my hand. I that, that think one? I might know which one this is. Oh, or that, that's sitting crappy. That maybe that maybe that's benchmark. I don't know. Could be. It could be. That's. I mean. I mean okay. All benchmark is is four year Buffalo Trace. That's just just what benchmark is. Oh, I don't know about that, man. This is so watery. So okay. So what I'm what I'm kind of oh, just feeling me. across this is is possible different cut points. Definitely possible. Yeah, most definitely. Right. I mean, because we're talking about some of these. Some of these either taste like they could be sour mash or they taste like they were put in the barrel, you know, at this specific, you know, cut range, right? Or, or something. It's just, it's just very weird. Yeah. And you're right. They're probably taking really crappy cuts and they're just like, well, here's this shit's left over and they can give them this in the call. Right. Yeah. It's like we're going to put it in the barrel good. anyway. Oh, they drank the snake wine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gross. That shit's disgusting. Ugh. Oh, Bobby drank it. Oh, well, it's all good, Dustin. We appreciate it. Well, I'll, we're just all glad that Sam is uh, safe and out of the hospital and is better. So Indeed. that's all that really matters. And that congratulations once again to uh, Bobby and Sam on 5,000 subs. That's awesome. All right. Well, we sure Eric, as hell ain't Eric. drinking no snake wine, Eric. No. Oh, come on, no, that's not bad. We're drinking a whole bunch of Buffalo Trace products, though. Really good ones at that, for the most part. There's a few that are not For great. the most part. Uh, Nick, we did the whole thing. Hey, Lilith, how's it going? Uh, Nick, we tried. This one, Clifton sent us all to yeah. us. Yeah. All the different benchmarks. And that was not the winner. Was it the Bottle and Bond that won that? Or was it the 95 so. proof or top floor? It was interesting what ended up winning. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look at that stream. But, yeah, it was good. Hey, Paul, good to see you. It's a new name um, here. Eric. Recap, we've got 14 oh. <laughs> blind pours here that Matt has given us. They're blind for him, too. He's mixed them all up on his end. Mm. We are going through match bill one. Um, and another thing for tonight, Super Chats get you entered into a drawing to pick three samples of what we are drinking tonight. You get to pick three. Um, and yeah, that's oh, all listed in the uh, comments. It's all the, listed uh, in the comments. Not comments. Um, info. Uh, bar. Info. Info. Yeah. Info. It's in the doobly doo. Check in the doobly doo. You'll see all the things that we're drinking. When in doubt, check the doobly doo. But yeah, Nick. I, I can go through them again. It's no big deal. I'll just real quick. I've got a bunch of new people in here. Okay, so we got yeah. benchmark. The lovely. Let's we'll make that big again. This all right, time. maybe big real quick, and I'll show you guys real quick. All right, so we got benchmark. You know, he said maybe big. <laughs> That's what she said. That's right. All right, we got Buffalo Trace. We got the kosher Arai bourbon recipe. We got Stag Jr. The this is batch fourteen. All righty, oh, Mike, I'll get your super chat in just a second. Uh, we started off with the white dog because you know this is this is what it starts at, and that's what all ends up all these amazing things. We got Old Trotter, the former number eight, the lovely 40 proof now. We have. Oh, that could be that. Canadian Oak from Charter Oak. We have the Chickapin Old Charter Oak. We have the Mongolian Oak from Old Charter. <laughs> we have the Eagle Rare 10 year. The Eagle Rare. 17 year, which is amazing. Yeah. We have the George T. Stag there. This is the uh, 2020. And let's see. We have the small batch E.H. Taylor. Mm. The 
single barrel E.H. Taylor. Ooh. And barrel proof E.H. Taylor. It's a... Uh... All right, so let me go back and grab everybody's super chats here. Jason. All right. Let's Jason, see. Jason, really? I'm not from Texas. Mm -hmm. Technically. All right, so we got everyone from Mike Franklin. Thanks for entertainment. Thanks, Thanks Mike. We appreciate it. And then I know we got one here from Wesley. Let's see here. What we got? So we got one right from Jason. Jason Coates says, I love all you do, even though you're from Texas. We appreciate you too, Jason. It's fine. We're, you're from Kansas. It's fine. We know you can't help it either. <laughs> all right. Yeah. There we go. Uh, okay, legit explain. Uh, I plan to have all of them, Dustin. Don't worry. I know where it is, and I'm negotiating for that. All right. Legit explain. Mm -hmm. How the heck do you get oh three charter oak finish? I know you're... I know big stones who got one bottle, not of each, per year. Well, don't worry. I know people. It's all good. Matt has whiskey mules in other states. Here, here's, here's this again in case you've missed it. Super chats get you entered. Get three samples of Mash Bill One of your choice. We your choice. We're not choosing. Yeah, you get to choose which three. We're not going to give yeah. you benchmark. You can get that for cheap. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you want benchmark, I'll happy to include. I won't. I'll even include it if you want. I won't make it be one of your three. I'll Cheers, that'll, be a, that'll be a fourth just for you. Cheers, yeah. Sam. You can and actually it. maybe our our last place. We'll include our last place finisher, whatever that may be. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> As just a uh, for for you to enjoy or not. There you go. As well, or even maybe. Uh, some yeah. Hey Sam, how's it going? Sam, Bobby, once again, congratulations, you guys. Appreciate it and glad that you're better. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it's oily. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. Which one? The one I have? Uh, no. I wrote down basic when I tasted that, but that was the first thing I tasted. Oh yeah, that's basic, bitch. This is really this, hard. Yeah. Oh, no, that's funny. That was the first one that I tasted. It's very watery and thin, basic bitch. The best part of all these is these are all at retail. There's mm -hmm. nothing here that's put in the secondary. That's good. Yeah, I don't pay secondary. That's fucking. Yeah, stupid. what's the lowest proof we have going here? Eighty. Eighty. Okay. Big League Bourbon. Good to see you guys and checked out Big League Bourbon. He interviews Big League baseball players and talks about whiskey. It's a very cool new channel. Check him out. Very interesting. All right, here's Excellent. more buddies, Bobby and Sam. No injury, just oh, a little right. look. Thanks, Bobby and Sam. Appreciate it, guys. Cheers, you guys. All right. heart you. Here we go. Oops. Oh. Yeah. Ventures, cheers to the bison. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Thanks, my <laughs> And oops. Then we got. Ah, oh, damn it. Sometimes there it is. Oh. Slauncher from Ohio. Thanks, Stacey. Appreciate it. Yeah, with the same so, yeah, if you don't mine. know Eric, you haven't seen him, haven't talked to him, haven't read oh, his yeah, comments, yeah. just let it slide off your back, babe. That's just <laughs> Eric, and Eric's hilariously funny. He's not he serious, makes, but it's very he, entertaining what he says. He is if, hilariously funny, and half the time it doesn't make it, sense. It's if, very if dry. You know, it's so funny, it's funny. because you haven't had enough to drink. Yo, that's it, true. It's on you. It's not on him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And there's our buddy Joseph. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, yes. And yes, Joseph, I plan to get your, your what you, the uh, Juntos to you sometime soon. Okay, where did I stop? I, I, need, to take, yeah, I, need, to I need to take a break and read some comments and there's you know, our talk buddy. amongst the peeps. So I have yeah. something written down for all of them. Cheers to the stuff. Thanks, Dustin. Appreciate it. If you guys haven't checked out Top Shelf, Dustin, please check out his channel. They, him and Mike review really awesome, exp amazing, expensive whiskeys that we all wish we could try. I'm say something, right? It's quite awesome. Mm. That one has the rye influence, she says. Yeah, that one's okay. That one's not. It seems special. to. There's, they're all the same mash. Bag. I know that, but. The, we've, we've got the kosher rye in here. What's Ooh, what's different about the like kosher that. rye? Why is it called kosher rye? What's the proof? It is, the kosher, kosher rye 
It's because it's blessed by the rabbi. It's very exciting. It's, it's kosher. By, yeah, it's, 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 it's kosher. It's blessed by the Chicago Rabbi Connell Council. That's the only difference. Is it's blessed by the rabbi. Okay. Um, what's the proof on that? Ninety-four. Ninety-four. Oh, Ninety-four. Okay. I like the koshers. I think. I think they're. Oh, I don't yeah. think they're anything. Oh, okay. The kosher doesn't make anything thing. special that it was blessed by the rabbi. It's great. Glad they did that. Whatever. Um, but it's good. I like it. Um, the funny thing is. We actually compared the rye mash, the just the rye mash bowl one. Of, that was the rye of uh, that to Van Winkle rye. And it's pretty freaking close. So when we do when we do the rye mash bowl night, that should be very entertaining. We compare all those. Hmm. Interesting, right? You yeah. want to see what I wrote down, or you want to you want to tell me what you want to say first? Not sure how I feel about that yet. Yeah, it's I a am good glad pitcher. to see that the Rangers, for one, strapped a fucking good pitcher. For one, hey, Thank didn't God. they like finally win a game or something? I don't know. They are terrible. But uh, <laughs> the good news is they they uh, they drafted Al Leiter's son, so I'm and he's fucking awesome. So I'm really excited. Of course, they got rid of fucking John Daniels, who sucked ass. So thank God they have a new general manager now. So that helps a lot. I think I, I think I heard something on the radio on Saturday when we were in the pool that they finally won a game. I don't know which one. That's good. Or, but I don't know. I just they're fucking awful. So, <laughs> although who's the, one of the teams is really bad this year? Who's it, the fucking Diamondbacks? I remember they're just fucking god awful. Over Something's on the Nationals, worse like, than the Rangers. Oh, like a lot worse. They're like I think they've won twenty six games. They're terrible this year. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's the Diamondbacks, but I could be wrong. I can't remember. I was looking at the stats the other day, the standings. Oh, I can just say it. It's not like he I knows just what want I'm to talking see. about. Was I can't remember what the hell what at this point. I'll, I'll be at this point. It's been an hour. I'll yeah, that's. I mean, that's what I wrote on nose. Yeah, I agree. Like just, I mean, nose alone. It's just that like, could whoa. be. It could be an age thing. I'm thinking so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of these I, I wrote down oak bomb. Whoa, so much oak on the taste. <laughs> really, an oak bomb? Huh? Okay, such an oak bomb. Which ones don't I have anything written down for me? Well, I mean that that one. I didn't write anything that you wrote. I on agree. That one. That's good. I like that. Yeah. That one. Let me step back. Well, that's true. Well, you, you're right, Liberty. Not like it's more than just a blessing. That's true. It's regulated grains and probably in, this is true. You're, you're right. It's the okiest of both. Oh, I know. That's what I'm. That's that's yeah. definitely my guess. It's a lot more to it, but from a simple standpoint, like that's it a lot. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a lot more really? to mm -hmm. the regulations and all that fun stuff. Blech. I know. Mm. It's so great. I love Bobby Bonilla Day. Every day on July 1st, they pay Bobby Bonilla a million dollars. It's hilarious. Well, it will be that way for a very long time. Yeah. What else? L and M. L and M. Well, I mean, you told me what you think of them. Huh? Yeah. I we got actually think Bobby Bonilla is a fucking genius for taking a contract and a million every year L &L? for like 25 years, something like crazy. That's what I've gotten, what, you know, what we've said. Mm. Our buddy Andy Bum didn't get to hang out last week, but did get some good bombing. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Andy. Yeah, the problems will come out of DFW. They failed to realize how freaking you as well. Oh, well, you're actually like 45 minutes to an hour away. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hopefully, next time you get to come down, uh, we'll get to hang out. I'm really torn. I think that one might be a chat. Stag. I'm to make it. Bobby, I whiskey she wine day. You know that cherry. We're good with that. That could be fun. Kinda, that kind of lingers with nah. mm -hmm. the junior. Where's oh? That's really good. Whatever that is. Oh. <laughs> mm. I proof too. It might be stag or stag junior. So you okay? That's good. Hmm. Well, it is pikey. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Black Guerrero Jr. is a beast. Yeah, no doubt. Like just like uh Fernando oh, Tatis. Oh my god, the guy's awesome. Way better than his dad was. But I remember I was actually a kid in uh we went to the Dominican Republic really? and what we ate the best guys that played with them in the Dominican oh, Republic. You thought one of those two was? I thought these were okay, father let me, and son. Let me do let me do let me do a cleanse. Oh, congratulations, Eric, on your new job. Not so great, you're in a hotel, but hopefully you get your new uh, house get that already. 
How's so it going, funny. Bill? The whiskey dick. How's it going, Bill? Good to see you. Hey, and Bill. Buffalo. Good stuff. There's our buddy Richard Amer down from the uh, Crowded Barrel. Good to see you, Richard. Hey there, Richard. Mark Hunter, and I guess you're manager now down, down there. So congratulations on your promotion. You're talking very loud. Sorry. Over my. Oh, good news. We'll see Richard in uh, about a month. That'll be great. Yeah, we will. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get down there and try the single mom. That's what I really, really want to try. I'm very so excited to try that. Many so many bottles. bottles I don't think we're going to pick them all up. Uh uh. Well, the good news is I've been having people get things for me. Thank God. When they go down, they're like, hey, do I need to pick stuff up? And Emma usually hands them a bundle of bottles when they leave. You're, you're a lucky man. Yep. I'm going to do a cleanse here. Yeah, I do too. Matt, tell me some of the proofs on these again. Tell me the higher proof ones again. All right, so the higher proof ones are... Uh, I know so Stag Jr. and Daddy. Or, that's yeah. higher proof. And then obviously the, the barrel proof E.H. Taylor. That's 129.3. Um, let's see. After that, then you're gonna drop down to 101 with a 17 year Eagle Rare, and then the rest are all like between 90 and 93, and there's a couple in the 80s. Okay, so there's three. 15,000 labels. Good lord. That's what we have. So what many mini bottles to fill. <laughs> That's insane. I can't even imagine what 15,000 labels on. We'll see. There's your bacon, buddy. There you go. Were pretty damn good. So we'll put those in the damn good category. Right. Now it's kind of like these are the lesser so far. You got your greater bourbons and your lesser bourbons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's the in the middle category. It's kind of what I'm going for at this point. Yeah, there's a lot in this, in this uh gosh. I don't even I don't want to tell you the letters, but I have a range here that just kind of have, they're just kind of just basic bitch bourbons. They're all good. Let's see. One, two, three. It'd be great daily drinkers. I mean, the mass majority are under 50 bucks. I mean, they're just not expensive. How many, how many Oak influenced ones that are, how many of the charter Oaks do I have? Three. three? There's three. Yes. Yeah. The Mongolian, Chickapin, and Canadian. Okay. So you want me to go back between the L and M? I need more than All right, so we got Tim Robertson. Several bottles here. I'd love to say, but going in for the win. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. So, we, we, have these these three. Three. we have these three. We have these three. One of them is the ESH, one of them is the ESH Taylor Barrel Proof. The other two yeah. are Stag and Stag Jr. Yeah, whoever wins is going to so walk away with some, uh, incredible pours. This is much lower proof. You think? Yes. <laughs> we get to a certain dollar value. I might throw in some Pappy Fifteen. Mm. Mm. I know that's not that's the weeded mash bill, but we have to get to a certain threshold to get there. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, that one is definitely lower than the ones I remember tasting here. Right. So I, I scratch off that this. bitch off. Yeah. And we kind of said it could be this one. Just a general. Uh huh. ER. Yeah. Got two songs against one. Sorry. <laughs> I'm awesome. trying to. We're trying to nail down exactly what we're thinking is I, what. Are so many powers you I'm have? I'm going for this. I'm entertained, and this is I'm having a good time. What I really need to know is, is this one. Up there, too. Lower proof than these three. <laughs> or is this one that same high big proof? <laughs> I like me on the palate, but it's not, to me, as uh, as big. Hmm. Eh. 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 It's kind of in the watery category. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> that's a good idea, Joseph. I like that one. Have Bobby keep the patch on so he notices. That's awesome. That one's bigger than that one. Nice, Stephen. On your third drink. Good job. Is it even bigger? I'm waiting for... Uh, this one is bigger Thursday. than this one. Yeah. Okay. Thursday should be fun. Looking forward to going to Charlie's house for E.H. Taylor night. That's going to be a blast. Meh. Mm, that's got a funk to it. No, that's weird. No, no, that's got to be one. This one's still bigger than this one. Charter Oaks. 
It's funny now that you still this this one's still huge. This one's still big. It's bigger than this one. But this one's still bigger than right. this one. Okay. That's the biggest so far. Heard that? That's the biggest. Let's take this conversation out of context. <laughs> it's more fun that way, isn't it? Okay, that's better. That's got a ton of cinnamon on it. Oh my gosh, black pepper and salt. I have I have one here this that's one a cinnamon bomb. One, these two are the highest. Yeah, that's like the crazy. Really? Whatever that is, that's a crazy cinnamon bomb. This one feels higher than this one. Do we have more of that one in the bottle? No. Damn. <laughs> ah, so everyone has a good question. Yes. So everyone says, as far as I can tell, most whiskey tubers and especially bourbon drinkers favor higher proof. How about you guys, whiskey tubers? Yes. I agree with that. I especially really like barrel proof scotches. I think cast rank scotch is fucking amazing. Yeah, I went from. Well, I like cast rank malt. Bastard. Sorry. Go yeah. ahead. That's all I had to say. I just like cast rank malt. You're kidding it's me? Not, it's, not even, it's not even cast rank scotch. It's <laughs> malt. Malted barley is like my, my fucking grain, and I like it high proof. Yeah, I went quickly from your normal bottom shelf, lower proof bourbons to high proof very quickly. And I range in that 115 or so and up is my wheelhouse. Hashtag high proof whore. The really important question, though, is. What is what is good? What is Chewy like best? That's the best question. What is Chewy like? You <laughs> You're Chewy. What, what, is, Chewy like what is Chewy like best? Uh, I, I I I like I like high proof malted whiskey. Not so, yeah, more exactly. There's more flavor in high proof, and that's what it comes down to. Yeah, in in, uh, in general across I, the board, I can proof my own stuff down if if it's too hot for me. Absolutely. Exactly. I haven't found one yet, but you know, there may come across one. Exactly. I haven't found one yet either. So yeah. Don Holland actually, that's Thanks, Don. not true. There are a lot of Jack Daniels that uh, of the single barrel barrel proofs that, that we open up that you'll absolutely drink straight that I won't drink straight. I'll use them as blending. I'll use them as components to other Don't things. Blend my freaking barrel proof. But you know, I, I that's not something that I'm going to reach for normally just to sit there and sip on, but you know, to, to bump up something else. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's something that backdoor's perfect. Well, yeah, it, it takes a lot of practice to prove it down, especially to act, yeah, for, acclimate yourself to it. Yeah, something like when you get heartburn. Yeah, I also find like you know you can take a meprazole over the shelf that seems to work pretty well against a lot of this. I take it every day because I have other problems. Oh, um, I pop some times before I go to bed. I'm good to go. It's a lot. Well, if I, I get heartburn from it, but way worse problems than that. I've had to have my throat expanded, collapsed, and shit. So because of oh that, so yeah. But that's a different story for a different day. How how much fun that is. Swami got to experience the same bullshit, so he knows how fun it is. Yeah, I I, I agree. That one's not as big. No, this is this this and this are the two top for me as far as the proof wise goes. That's a weird cinnamon bomb. Really. Yeah, this one has the. This is the big cinnamon bomb to me. Okay, that. All right. I don't know which E is. Is E your cinnamon bomb? Just, just to wonder. I don't know. I don't care what the fuck E is, but see, this no. one is not as high as the other as these two. Your oh, it's really not. Your palate's broken. Your palate's broken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I don't think it's that anymore. No. No. Exactly. I think one of these is. Yes, and the other one's daddy. But we still have this to contend with, too. Yeah, what's the proof on that barrel proof, E.H. Taylor? Uh, 130-something. 129.3. That's what I'm saying. I think it's this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Slow your roll there, buddy. I, said, I will not. I said this one was higher. That's fine. Nope. I think, oh, yeah, I We'll probably do both, Joseph. Um, guessing and ranking. Yeah. Yep. We'll get to there at some point. I don't know. I'm sure we'll probably be mostly wrong, but that's okay. But hey, sometimes we surprise the shit out of ourselves and do. If it's a little bit different, yeah, it could be pretty good. good. But Just these are so similar. This one. Yeah. This, is, this yes. is pretty hard. See, you wrote it right here, though. Yeah. Ooh. You wrote it twice. I know, but then I wrote this too. 
Yeah, I don't agree with that. That's what we said. I don't agree with what I said. <laughs> no. Understand? Yes, everyone's. I have to drink high rye whiskey with ice, just too much spice, which totally makes sense with rye. And even Pete, high proof, just a few drops of water. Hey, absolutely. And plus, it unlocks special things. And there's Michelle Lynn. Good to see you, Michelle. How you doing? Hey, Michelle. Yeah. And, and you know, you got to do what you got to do for what you like. And that's okay. I just, uh, um, I've been a high proof whore for so long that I don't, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> mm. The only place to go is up. Oh, I can't do that. That's a great quote. <laughs> Wife quote. I don't agree with what I said. Yeah. I'm allowed to not agree with what I said. You have to agree with what I said. <laughs> okay, that's the funky one. That just seems. What are you looking funny. for? There's anything left? It's mm -hmm. funk. Okay, okay. I mean, J is what we thought was this, but he gave us a full bottle of that, so I really doubt it was that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's almost because I only had a little bit. Yeah, we had only a little bit of. That's stuff. what I'm saying. So, could one of these be that? Hold those bottles up again. How how big <laughs> of a proof? How big of a proof is the was the Eagle Rare 17? 101. That's okay, it. Okay, see. Oh, it's got to be that. Which it's got to be that. This one. This one. Actually, this is a really good question. I'm from Stacy. She wants to know if you drink a lot of high proof, do you find everything else tastes thin? Yes. Uh, not necessarily. No. It depends on the whiskey, really. It, yeah, it depends on the whiskey because there are a lot of lower proof whiskeys in the 90 range or whatever mm. that are very rich and have a very oily mouthfeel. Um, it, they proof them some... down just right for what they are. Yeah, but if they're not right, filtering, if they're proofed right, because because we've tasted some still Austin that t drinks yeah. way, <sighs> way way higher, yeah, 98, way more flavor in it mm -hmm. than should be at. 101 proof mm. yeah like you're tasting flavors that you only typically find when you're at 122 125 mm -hmm. when it's really only at 101 but you're but you're but you're getting it at 101 so there are some distilleries that can find ways to unlock some of those uh notes but typically what we find is, is that the higher the proof the more the the more layers of flavors we can find in there um and it also depends on what you start out with for your night if you go in balls to the wall and high proof and then you go down, then yeah, it's going to taste thin. Yeah. If you work your way up, then you're not going to taste the thinness once you get to the high proof, unless you go back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So true. that being said, a lot of distilleries have really kind of dialed things in really well. Uh, we've tasted some scotches yeah. that are at 40% that are have a like roundness and a viscousness. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. uh, teachers, I go through... I go through one of these handles of teachers uh, pretty damn often. Uh, and this is a 46%, 43% ABV whiskey. Um, yeah, true. You know, granted, I'm using it as a base and I'm using it as a blending tool, but at the same time, come on. It's uh, 43%. And it's, it's a, I love the stuff. As far as we know, Andy, as far as Buffalo Trace creating new lines or going through the same match, everything goes to Harlan Wheatley, as far as I know. There's no one else that's doing it that I'm aware of. I was going to pull up my I picture. Mean, even if he's obviously the head distiller there, well, see, he um, really but no matter what, even if he's not technically distilling it, everything's getting run by him. I assure you. You can't okay, see so what's in those. Opened, he actually opened up a new bottle of that. Okay. That makes way more sense. Can't see what's in those. Okay. I, uh, I've made my decisions. I know what, I know what things are. Do you? <laughs> I, 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 know what I haven't gotten remotely that close to what, anything. I'm still going on the, what's the ranking now? I will guess certain things, and other things are going to be like whatever. Literally, ranking. Literally not licensed. It. I'm calling it. Will's going to ace this exam. Will and I we're working together on this. So, that's right. I I mean, I, I feel like I have. That's why you got you got you got two psalms against the one. So yeah. we'll see how that actually goes. And we have letters to look at. What we really should have done is turned our glasses around to where we weren't looking at letters. Oh yeah, I put mine on the bottom, so I don't know. Right, because because yeah, we but know Matt. Now we have a way to keep track of our notes, though. It's I know. All good. So I know it's just it is what it is. But my nose is also I'm still dealing with the allergy shit here, guys. Just thankful I don't have the headaches. The but uh, the the nose is the wind when it blows in from the south and it blows all that cedar in. It's killing me, and you not, know it's not good times. Spending well, all that time inside the past year, you kind of lose those immunities or whatever. 
And I was outside half most of the day on Saturday. So, is anyone excited about Benchmark? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I think I have an idea of which one Benchmark is though. It's one, the most, of one of these. Benchmark is cheap. Oh, yeah. Basic bitch, fifteen dollar freaking one seven five. I don't know. Oh, the brother buys it by the case though to make to use it for blending and to uh, use in his mini barrel. Turns out pretty good using the mini barrel, shockingly <laughs> enough. Had some the sherry finish benchmark was pretty good. Uh, I think all three of these old oh, chargers. Mm, these these ones I think are my favorite. Whatever yeah, these okay. three are. Got this picture. I'm gonna laugh. We're so fucking wrong. And you know. It's fun. That's fair. Canadian oak. Mongolian oak, Canadian oak, and there's one other. Well, yeah, that's true. Those are different market shares. Absolutely. There's no doubt they are. You're worse than a cat knocking things off the counter, dude. And price points. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so like these three down here, they're my favorites. <laughs> All right, I want to know what's your least and favorite. I want to start with your least favorites. Um, right. B and C. B and C. All right, let me look on the pictures and see what those are. By a long shot. That I'm not surprised, but I'm pretty sure I remember what they are. But let me, let me make it. Thin and watery and lower proof. Oh, no, no, no. I got greenery. I got sour mash. I got back set. I got sour mash. They're like, I, I have like horrible, like, they're not. I don't even B want to them. and C. You pick correctly. B is benchmark. C yeah. is old charter. Yeah. I, I I actually wrote those backwards. I thought that it was going to be old charter and then benchmark. Yeah. But okay. both of them are yeah. But they are clearly yeah. the losers. Those two I picked as the bottom two. Yay, we did it right. <laughs> they're like it, it, they're they're two clear losers in this category for sure. I'm just I'm setting those off to the side. I don't even want to get them on out of here. More water. Time for more water. Water. That's got a funk to it. Hmm. See, you got this one marked as that, but it doesn't feel spiky enough for me to be that. No, because I have weird oak influence written over here. And right on the nose. So I don't know that that's that. No. You know what the weird thing is? So the weird oak fluids end up actually being on the old char the regular old charter. The one that that you said, oh, that's a weird oak influence. Yeah, it was was old charter, the regular one, not even the one of the special ones, just the regular one. Interesting. I see. I have three that we have, uh, you know, kind of a funky weird oak influence on. One of them we got nothing on the nose of, but. I'm very interested to see where these kind of land. Yeah. I had these little weird groupings here going on of like, this is like the mediocre. This is the two shitty ones. This yeah. is the less shitty ones. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to the less shitty and, and weird. Yeah, less shitty is kind of where I'm at as far as. I like this one. What is that one? Mm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we nailed that one. Eh. It's got a funk to it. All right, let's see. What's the proof? I just drank something else. Though. I was gonna say I, I I picked ninety six to hundred. Yeah, I think I think that's feels about right. This is this is between ninety and ninety five. Or I'm sorry, this one. No, you just had that one. Did I? Yeah. Whichever one I just had, this one. I think it's about ninety to ninety five. Hmm. I I don't totally agree, Richard. Less shitty was on WKRP. You are correct. Mm -hmm. That's the correct answer. Yeah. It's always a category for us is it's less shitty or it sucks. No, up. I'm thinking like 85. Really? Yeah. For this one? No. I was drinking this one. Okay. You sure? Mm -hmm. It's got something weird. All right. Mm. Right now we're just kind of kind of nailing proofs or trying to. Oh, oh God, that's so weird. 
It really it, is. It's but interesting how much more, more stuff is starting to no, come out now. I don't disagree with that. Spice. I was talking about this one when you were changing this one. Okay. I agree with you on this one about 85 or so. 80, 85? Yeah. And this one I agree with 90 to 95. Somewhere in that range, maybe. Okay. I need a water break. Cleanse it. Mm. Trying to nail down. I think I figured out which one the old car, the old charter yours are. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! I agree with you on that. I think I think we figured them that out. That one's in. I, I want to say the eighty range. Eighty-five to ninety. Aren't for me. Do you agree? Yeah. It's it's a lot thinner. It's way thinner. And what you got written down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's still oily and creamy. It really is still oily and creamy. I agree with that. I don't think that's one of the three. No, I think these three. Yeah, me too. I don't know which ones are which, but I think right. those three. Yeah, I'm thinking these might be the... So, can you want another guess? Sure. What do you got? Who's that, H? Yes. Same, and I agree very much. Does that say Woody? It says watery. Oh, it, it okay. Woody, I agree with that. Okay, not overly. You did you not get watery? Yes, 10, I did. 80%? Yes, yes, I completely agree with all okay. that. Okay, but it's got some oak, oaky, oakiness to it. Um, cheers, Sam. Thanks for stopping in. Watch out, Bobby. See you guys later. Or Bobby, or whoever's there. Whoever's there. Do you remember how you labeled these? Oh, you have a picture of it. All right, so our, our buddy did you do there. did you do the old Carters in a row? I did. Are they D, E, and F? They are. That is correct. <laughs> okay, those uh, all three of those have have written down on the nose. They're weird. weird oak <laughs> influence. Good night, everyone. One of them has funk. Good night, everyone. Written down. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. And the awesome questions, too. Yep. D. Yeah. Weird Oak Influence uh, was written down on all of them. <laughs> What's the proof on those? Uh, 90 for the uh, Mongolia, 92 for the Canadian, and 93 for the Chickapin. 90 to 93? Yep. Yeah, we were pretty close on we those. We were pretty close on, on nailing those proofs, too. Yeah. It's not. It's we have not 85 just Will. to 90. It's not just Will at Old uh, Liberty Not License. <laughs> it's Charter, babe, not Carter. Old Charter. I'm yeah. so sorry. Old yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yes, Old okay, Carter. So, very different brand. And very, very, we we should blend all these, shouldn't we? We're through here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Old Carter mm -hmm. is delicious. I don't think I've ever given you Old Carter, to be honest. I don't. I don't know that you have either. I don't think I have because that is a, was a very hard ball to come by. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I so. Split with furrows. Go for it. Oh Jesus! I just spilled so much whiskey. It's okay. It was just an old charter. <laughs> it was just the one that was completely impossible to come by. <laughs> just kidding. You do all realize right. all three of those are really fucking hard to get. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, so just a reminder for those that are still in here or people who have come in late, Super Chats gets you entered for a chance to win three Buffalo Trace Mashville number one samples of your choice. We are coming down to, got 30 minutes left, guys, and we're going to do this, um, I'm assuming going to do this. Towards the end. Rando yeah. to yeah, the draw end. To the, towards the end here. Um, we're going through our reveals right now. Um, so be sure to get those in if you want a chance to pick three of what we're drinking tonight. All right. Good evening, alcoholics and bacon smugglers. Thanks, Fami. We appreciate it. You guys have bacon smugglers. I it. love it. I am, in fact, a bacon smuggler. I'm a motorcycle enthusiast and, uh, and bacon dealer. Panels. And also so other cool people will join him. So. Yes, indeed. Always entertaining time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Stormy so, says, if I win, please get samples to children in need. <laughs> Alex says she'll take your samples. Thanks, Ron Swami. Appreciate it. So that means it's 90% me. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, all, it all ends up as Sarah. 
<laughs> All right, let's keep going here. What do we got? It's G. Right, we had nothing on the nose. I don't know what's left to choose right. from. We have a little there. bit more of this one if you want to pour a little bit more. Here, let's see. I'm going to write knocked out those down. Oh, Ooh. I can write them down. Yeah, but I'm going to write up on this picture and mark these guys off. Oops. And so we we picked the benchmark and all the old charters, right? Yep. Yes, you guys have done those so far. So we got Buffalo Trace. We got Eagle Oops. Rare. We got the Kosher. Okay. Yeah, so, she's still got left. Let's see. Yeah, you got... This is the mixed class, right? Yes. All right, I'm putting that over there. Earl Trace, Eagle Rare, Kosher, all three H Taylors, Stag, Stag Junior, Eagle Rare 17. Yeah. We, we found the Eagle Rare. You did? Oh, which one is that one? Oh, I'm sorry, the we, Eagle Rare 17. 17. We which so. is? We think it's J. Oh, we, I, I know it's J. Like, there's not a doubt in my fucking mind that that's, that's the oakiest motherfucking thing I've tasted all damn day. Nope. No. <laughs> Nope. Wow. Okay, so what else was the fucking oak bomb? This is so fucking oaky. Let's see. Where's Jay? Where's Jay? Find Jay. Jay, there's Jay. There's so much oak in there. There is, but that's not it. So. Wow. Okay. Where's Jay? Where's Jay? Yeah. Not the regular buffalo, is it? What? No. No. Huh. Really? We're still alive. Hush. So it could be this one? Mm -mm. No. What's the proof on the Eagle Rare 17? 101, you said. I don't know why I asked. Yeah, that could be that one. It could be K. Do you think so? Now everything is wrong in my life. <laughs> everything is wrong in Will's life. It's fine. You're just wrong. What does she want? I don't know what she wants. It could be the regular buffalo because buffalo, if I Same recall, this one. Here we if go. I recall, the regular buffalo is very spiky. That's yeah. how Hanzi says, I foresee a spin on called Strange Oak Influence. Yeah, for real. We, we the funny thing is we could totally do that because we have so much weird ass. Uh -huh. We really do it, weird uh, shit that I have shit. around here because I like weird shit. <laughs> oh yeah, so my, my so that's pretty fun. Yeah, totally happens, Big League. Yeah, he says that's so that's my house when my twin five year old sneak diner or whatever. Guess oh totally, dude. That's exactly what happens. It happens pretty much all the time. Or when they're fighting, that's the best. That's the fun. One. This is a Monday night occurrence. Thanks, Horatio. Or Hadro, wow. however you pronounce your name. Could it be this one? No, I think this is 17. Yes. Could be. Now he's on the search to find the 17. It's got to be that one. Is it? Oh. It's got to be the cinnamon bomb. Not necessarily. Right? It's got a reasonable proof. It's not super high. Let's just let's just find out. Let's just find out. Oh well, we got to figure out what our favorite is. Um, M N N O. <laughs> Those three. Well, and L L M N O is my favorites. Nice. L M N O. Not a surprise. <laughs> stag Junior Stag. Nice. Um. The e. I'm Taylor. guessing the E.H. Taylor and no the proof. Eagle Rare, 17. Yeah. I'm guessing that L, M, N, and O, that's those four. And we've got down that um, M could be the junior. This weird one. This is. Oh, that's the weird-ass cinnamon bomb. M? Oh, no, I'm talking to myself. 
E was my weird at. It's one of the fuck. It's the fucking Canadian oak. Uh, hey there, Eric Gibbonson. Welcome on. Hey, in. Eric. Good to see you. Tell me, tell me the oh, answer. Is DMC. M this is true. She says she says fuck no though, so that won't be happening. Yeah, she says fuck no big time. Matt. Uh, yes. What's the question? Is M the junior? M the junior. Let's see. Nope. Damn, damn it. All right. Well, uh, yeah, the last four are definitely the favorites. I don't know that I've, I, I dislike Jay. Whatever Jay is, it is very oaky yeah. and it's just not my favorite thing. If oak is your jam, you're, you're going to really like. Let's see, that was that. Okay. You're supposed to tell me now. That's. You're see. supposed to tell me now. Which one, Jay? Jay's a small like batch E.H. Taylor. Is a small batch E.H. Taylor. In yep. Really? Which is funny because I know you guys like it. Yeah, we do. I didn't say I didn't like like it. I just thought it was the oak. Oh, you think it's oaky. Oh, okay. It's very, it's, yeah, it's oaky. Okay, so. Interesting. Let's see. Is N, is N uh, Big Daddy? N is nope. No, see, that's the one I thought was stag originally. Yes, but then you went that. What's good. N? What's N Junior? See, I was right the first time, right here. I said cherry cola. Oh, see, all right. So here's something I actually want to try. So Bourbon Basement here just mentioned. Charter 101. That's one of the ones I do not own. I've never tried. I would really like to try Charter 101. But yeah, I'm discontinued, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the one I would really like to try. I've never seen. That would be cool to try. I, I don't even know what that is. Okay, what is that? Uh, it's Old Charter 101 proof. They, in fact, Old Charter used to be have a ball and bond version in the 80s. I technically got N right because I told him stag to begin with. So is is M is M Daddy? Um, M? No. Yeah. Huh? No. What is it? Daddy's O. Mmm. I haven't looked at my best so far. So, between the L and the M, one of those is going to be. Barrel proof, barrel proof and the 17. Yeah. Hey, that's the single. So you barrel. think this 17. one's 17 kosher. and this one's the barrel proof because it had a lower proof. So is M. Oh, sorry. This is Michelle Lynn. Happy Monday. Glad I got home to catch part of this. Love listening to your notes and links. Happy Monday. Thanks, Michelle. We appreciate Here's it. Michelle. Um, so is M the barrel proof? Uh, M is. Yes. All right. Good. See, benchmark makes me gag. Ten dollars overpriced. <laughs> Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Which means L is going to be the seventeen year off. Um. Yes. Okay. Wow. So that one's changed, Matt. The so I have, we so tried the from the sample bottle. Yeah. Is way different than this one. This one is way more mellow. For which one? The the seventeen year eagle rare. Well, here's the difference. So the one we reviewed, I don't know, a year ago was an, a two thousand five, which was right. ninety proof. This is a twenty twenty, which is a hundred and one proof. Ah, uh, okay, there you go. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so let's see where I'm at. So okay, right. so we have. I have my five that I think are my favorite, so I want to go through and see what I think here. Okay, so get rid of these four here. O N M L. All smell really good. That, I know what that is. That's stag I yeah. Interesting. I just them out of the main lineup. We have here. We'll just mix these separate for you. <laughs> Buffalo Trace, regular eager Rare, kosher, and the other two um, E H Taylors left to decipher. That's good. So that's five of them, right? That's really good. We've got about 15 minutes left. Really good. 
If you are going to get any super chats oh, in for the for drawing the giveaway, for the giveaway, get them in now. And Before your time has expired, and you do not have a chance. Thank you, baby. Um. Hmm. Man, okay, this is so hard. These these five are like really fucking good. Oh, yeah. Man. All right. So I think like these three might be a little bit slightly better than these. Is there any more of GM? Yeah. Or no. Yes. It's almost gone. You are way too slow, kitty cat. All right. Got a prayer from Big League Bourbon. We got cheers to a great stream every time. Your selection constantly blows my mind. Cheers to y'all. Thanks, Big League Bourbon. Appreciate it. Cheers. It blows my mind, too, and I'm a part of this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I went over to Matt's house today, and I was like, oh, my God. How? What the? Huh? Yes. Oh, yeah, um, you came over for the big bag, and you're like, what in God's name is this? And he came home, and I was like, yay, we haven't done one like that in a while. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I seriously spent six hours yesterday looking for this shit to get everything ready for um, I spent okay, so six to midnight looking for this crap. A bourbon basement giveaway. Um, super Chats gets you entered into a drawing for a chance to pick three of the samples. Mm -hmm. From tonight, you get to pick three Buffalo Trace Mash Bill One samples. We're not going to pick for you. We're not going to pick for you. Yeah, you so that's kind it. of a little bit of special thing there. Um, you haven't tried it. You get to pick it. Get a sample. Um, so hmm. all you got to do is just is it, it a just something, per dollar something. thing? No, is a it's ticket a or thing. chats? All oh, super chats get you entered in. That's we did. Right. It. Put a limit on it. We are an equal opportunity giveaway. -er. Yes. Yeah, basically, we'll, we'll put it at every five bucks gives you an extra gives you an extra. Uh, so if 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 you're no, last, that's putting on way too much extra work on whoever's going to have to. That's do true. It. It's Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't throw an amount out there, that's so right. you want to so super matter. chat, that's super true. chat us, and we'll add you in. There right. you go. Um, you'll get added in. Yeah, I do want to know the total. If it, if it meets the number I have in my mind, then I'll talk about adding a 15 in there. Ooh, happy, ooh. But it has to meet a certain number. Ah, oh, I can dig Go it. Get them in, people. Get them in. You know, that's a good quote from The Warriors, a great movie from 19 better 1981. Than <laughs> Stacey does. Thank you very much. The Jason Bourbon. Poor Stacy. I highly recommend bacon. Bacon's good. Bacon's good. Bacon is delicious. Especially the bacon that will feeds them. I might have to stop feeding them if they can't behave during live streams. I'm gonna bring over bacon just for Matt. It'll be Matt bacon, not everybody bacon. Those are all so similar. I know. Why is there only four here? Which four? Which what? How, how many more do you need? We got G H I and J. No, G H I and K, because we already have. Not J. Not Where's all right? So my fifth eagle rare cat. So okay, I'm not sad with that. That that's my fifth place. I'm not sad with that at all. What was your fifth place? Eagle rare cat. You have five. One, two, three, four, five. No, because we've already knocked up two eagle rares or two. Yeah, eagle rares. six was Stag Junior. Yes. Oh. Batch 14, if only gives a shit. They're all yummy. Yeah, it's like there's a bad one. Uh, yes, bacon, bacon is a great equalizer. I, I really think so. I think it's a great palate resetter. Yep. Some people smell the inside of their arms. I eat bacon. Well, to clear nope. your nasal, <laughs> it's different. It's right, going cool. inside of your arm and getting your familiar smell. I smell bacon. Getting your familiar smell is the way you should do it. Palate cleanser is different. But what this is, is my familiar smell. This is my familiar smell. You do not I like smell, wake up in the morning and spray like, like bacon. bacon cologne on you. That's not how it I works. Just, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's what he does every day. I ooze bacon. I am bacon. I am bacon. 
All right. <laughs> hey, Andy wants to know if there's any update on the Patreon. It's halfway done. Only fans is soon after that, Andy. <laughs> oh my god. Can we get it done before the bastard ball, please? That's the goal. I do have this cool shirt though that I would Vinny's really wife made. Love to be able to walk around the bastard's ball and you know do some freaking Patreon clips for our Patreon members that aren't able to be there. Mm. That would be cool. God, that's good. <laughs> or even if you could, you know, get it done before SOM class, we could do the same since we're on campus. That would be better. Access to the vault and such. I like all these. Excuse the same. me. You fuck. Which oh. half of the Patreon is done? No. <laughs> the good part. Yeah, I like this one least of these. So it's it's probably okay. going to be either um, the this one mm -hmm. or one of these two. Yeah, and I don't think it's one of these two. Mm -mm. I think it's this one. Might be. Oh, it could be. I mean, they're basically the same. Oh my God! Bird oh. mentioned professor for beer and bacon. Fuck yeah, man! That sounds awesome. Sounds great. All right, so my third place is actually Mongolian oak. Nice. That that I was really shocked by. That was so. That that was that to, all right. The good news is, not just yeah. I know this has to be Eagle Rare Seventeen and uh, Daddy Stag, so I'm not disappointed. This my top two came down to these two. Now the question is, which I th I'm pretty sure just based on nose, which one's which. The perks of it alone are pretty freaking amazing. Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Uh, so, if the class itself wasn't ridiculously fun, uh, the perks of it are stupid. Hey, I don't remember what's the what's the um, difference in the proof between the the Buffalo Trace and the Eagle Rare. Nothing. Like, like four points. Like four Buffalo points. Buffalo Trace is ninety. Eagle Rare is ninety. Oh, they're oh, both ninety. Both ninety. Yeah, okay. yeah, the ten. So no, the seventeen is one hundred and one. Okay. I don't know what was the Kosher Rise proof. The kosher rise ninety four. Okay, because these two out of these four are the higher proofs to me, and we have the e. H. Taylor. single barrel left. Okay, plus the kosher, the eagle rare, and the mm -hmm. buffalo trace. Okay, so, so that's that's that. And see, I wrote down here originally. Um, I wrote it on the wrong one. Is one of these G? Mm -hmm. BT? This one. I can yeah, I wrote that one that one originally as that, but I wasn't one hundred percent. I got more oak on it. We need to wrap this show up here soon though. Mm -hmm. We should probably go ahead and do the uh drawing. Let somebody know that they've won some whiskey. Yeah, I think that one's the ER and that one's the BT. No, no, I And then, yeah, I think that one, and then that one would be the kosher. We have guesses. Okay. Is K E H Taylor small batch? It is K is single barrel E H Taylor. That's, That's what, what I, I said. said. Single barrel. That's what's written down as single barrel. He read it wrong. I wrote down SB, which could be small batch or single barrel, but small batch is already written. Boom, computer. I guessed it right. Okay, you got that one. Okay, what about is I oh, evil written? I is... Nope, I is the kosher. Boo. Boo, okay. Those two are backwards. Maybe. Maybe. Or eagle or, rare is way up here. Is G eagle rare or is that regular buffalo? G is buffalo. H is eagle rare. Okay. <laughs> she did good. Did good. She did good, everybody. She she put those lat lists together. That wasn't me. That was her. That was all me, baby. And I'm mixing all of these together except for the last four. The last four items, which are the Eagle Rare 17, the Barrel Proof Eagle, uh, E.H. Taylor, the Stag Junior, and Stag. That's in her glass. She's drinking that. That's what I got here. Um, Matt 
Um, are you ready to do the drawing now? Sure. Yeah, Donald, um, go ahead. Um, how many do we have? What do we need to pick from? And if you have a total, that'd be super, because Matt might kind of wants to know that. Actually, I guess he doesn't need to know that yet. Hmm. That uh, stag is pretty great. Eagle Rare 17, pretty fucking great. Yeah, I like that new Eagle Rare 17 a lot better. That is like a really slim difference as far as how much I like them. Yeah. Let's see. What did I need? Um, Richard, what says what makes it kosher, by the way? Oh, the rabbi blessing it and like the special, you know, the grains being sort of specially and Specific the whole processing grains. thing is just it's a little bit different. But yeah, that's basically all that makes it kosher. Just the rabbi takes care of these things. So we got 16 hold in on, total. Hold on, hold on. Mm. Oh, you want to do it? Alexa? You're going to make every Ale oh, she's not on. Yes, turn you on. Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 16. Six. Who is six? Six is what she says. She didn't say it out loud. Oh, because you're on silent. I got my phone on silent, folks. Sorry. But she Little says back. six. So, uh, Donald? Number six. Number six, please. Give us number six. The big winner for this evening. The head of the Arch Sugar Archdiocese comes in and blesses the batches. Oh, very cool. See? The big League Bourbon knows. I should not have mixed B and C in the fucking blend. Uh, I, oh, yeah. I haven't mixed them all. I have another. Let me do that because that will be fun. I have not I mixed all of them and see if, if that is better than the blend. Blast. But once again, uh, the answer is the antique collection is the best. That's just not that I'm surprised to be real honest. Um, they kind of came in how I kind of figured they would. That hey, it works all Jason, good. Jason Coates is our winner. All right, Jason. Hey. There you go. What's your say? There's three. Stop. Stop and, uh, or you can hit me in Discord. Uh, let me know what three you want. So, in case you missed that, because William's obnoxious. Um, email Matt at whiskey crusaders three at gmail.com or reach out in Discord. Or Discord, yeah, either way works. Just let me know what you want. Send me your address. Yeah. What you want a uh, address, and I will ship them out to you. There you go. Congratulations to you, sir. Absolutely. Okay, top shelf. Dustin was asking back, and I, I don't know. I guess it was oh. referred to me yeah. since I'm the she here. Why is she talking proof versus talking okay. best? Um, talking proof to whittle down the last of them for me is easier than whittling down the best. Cause I already picked my best. My best were LM and O, which were the top, the 17 year, the barrel proof Elijah. Yeah, not Taylor, a surprise. EH Taylor. I mean, um, stag junior and big daddy stag. So those yeah. are my top, but then to whittle down what was left proof was the way to go for me because they are all so similar. I, I agree with that completely. I mean, we're talking about the same, wow. we're talking about the same flavor stacked on top same, of each other. Yeah. So really, you know, if you can figure out what the proof is. Yeah. Hmm. It, it, it makes it so much easier to kind of whittle them down. And that's kind of how I based the last four on guessing. And I mean, I got two out of four, right? So yeah, no we, uh, we brought down to the, like, I, I got the, the stag, right. And the Eagle rare, right? So I was happy about that. So, I can't believe the amount of oak that was on that E.H. Taylor small batch. What I was shocked, was but yeah, it was like, I was like, eh, it's kind of okay, it's not way. great, but yeah. So, uh, grown, harvested, and processed according to the Jewish kosher food law. Thank you, Liberty Not License. There you go. Okay. There's more to it than just the blessing. Thank Here's God we have really smart people in here. If you are not part of the Discord yet, you should be. Um, we want you to be. We want you to be. Uh, we're all there. Good chunk of the people that are in the group in the chat right now are in there. So um, click that link if you want to check it out. Several channels are listed in the, the whiz core. Um, and you can uh, reach out to whoever you want to whoever talk you to. want to talk to. Apparently I win. Yeah. We need to why get do, why does Will win? Off. Will always wins. Will doesn't like, always win. I am the winner. I yeah. am 90% of this team. Winner. Yeah, I would like uh, Big League Bourbon to send me an email. I'd like to talk to you and see if we can get you on as a new channel. I think that'd be fun. Oh, yeah. I do love baseball, so that would be great to have you on. Indeed. Yeah. I'm I 
I'm I'm an okay baseball fan. I prefer to watch it in person than to watch it on the TV. That is truth. Um, I care about baseball and hockey. The rest I don't give a shit about. I know how baseball is played <laughs> more than the rest of the sports besides hockey. Sports hockey. Ball. Hockey, yeah. The other sports balls are there's too many rules. Oh, you know what should be great? We should do a meetup at the Brahmas because I love I love going to minor league hockey. So in the glass, great. We could bring a whole bunch of whiskeys to the team. I like I like hockey. Um, well, the problem none of those guys on the team can drink because they're all sixteen and twenty. Yeah, they're so, they're not. Oh, yeah. They're not. They can't drink. Guys. They're all underage. And they're all amateurs. Okay, fine. We need our. So we can have a meet up there and go to Zoo Roma, which best freaking prices for whiskey after there. You can get a double Weller for six bucks and a double McAllen twelve for nine dollars. That's a great deal. Because like, oh, would you like a single? That's seven dollars. I'm like, how would you like a double? Like, how much is that? Nine dollars. I'm like, no, I don't want to spend two dollars more for a double. That's Twist my arm. Good. Okay, no, so oh, yeah, it's always yes. Let me just let me just make this clear to you. He gets his ego stroked plenty. I did all the work tonight. I worked eight hours today. <laughs> and then I came here and I did 90% of the work. What? Because you already said it was 10% for him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy plays? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He, Hold on a second. He was, he was the next player. Yeah. You take – holy shit. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, man. Hey, that's about at uh, WhiskerSaders3 at gmail.com. That would be amazing. And we will get you some pours of whiskey. I would love to come up there. We love the right? games. So, Yeah. He's got. I'm just saying, Will's ego stroked plenty. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, you convinced him to carry Weller? Well, good you on you, man. Plenty more stroking. I love drinking those doubles up there of a six bucks for Weller Reserve. It's a great deal. It's the best deal in all of sports. Is going to Brahmas for real. It's it's seven minutes from my house. I can drink a ton of it. My wife can drive home, and it's great. So it's perfect. It's seven minutes away. You can't beat the price. You can send the glass for $25. It's fantastic. Now he's stroking my ego. <laughs> what you do after the stream is not my problem. That's right. <laughs> Speaking of which, cheers, everybody. What about what's coming up? Why don't we just oh, go yeah, ahead and do the do normal that. stuff we do before we end? Fine. <laughs> Gotta be all reasonable what's about coming things. coming out tomorrow? Shivis. I edited Shivis. Shivis. Wow. And then Shivis. Oak and Eden's new four grain will be on Thursday. That stuff is good. If you like Oak and Eden, check that out for sure. Mm -hmm. And then what do we have on Saturday liqueur? Hmm. We did Uzo. What's the other one we did? Uh, uh, it was uh, Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier. Alexander Cuvée will be this week, and then Uzo will be the following. Bleh. I know. Bleh. You don't like licorice. We found two things Sarah hates: peat and licorice. I don't like. The Sarah idea. usually likes like ninety-five percent of the cords I sent over there. She hated Uzo. I, I yeah, that's that's really odd for me because I usually like the liqueurs, but not that one. I, no, I like. I'm not a fan. I liked the Uzo more than you liked the Uzo, and which, is sugary, odd, which, which is odd. Which is sugary. I could only take yeah. one drink. That was it. I was like, I'm done. This is gross. It tastes like freaking black jelly beans. Yes, so well, one of the things we are working it, on, speaking of coffee, is, uh, That's not all of it. Is Balfour. We're working on getting Balfour to get Eddie the Eagle actually on the show. And he's, he's local, and he also loves – his son also loves barbecue. So we're going to do a pairing with Balfour whiskeys and Brian's uh, pit face yes. barbecue. It's going to be amazing. Let's fucking make that happen. So we, uh, we're working that out. We can thank our buddy uh, Wheels actually set that up. So uh, – we will be getting and we'll be doing Thank stuff you, like that so in the future. So right. yeah, they happened to visit uh, the store he that he went to visit, and he, they were there. So I am exciting. <laughs> yes, I feel really good right now. This I was feel, a very nice high proof. I, I need a lot perfect. of water, a lot of bacon after this. It's, it's like just that nice, you know, just that nice stage. And you also got to remember, remember um, light buzz. It's nice. Liberty not license. You got to remember, we don't pour a whole lot in our glasses. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's it. It's not like we're drinking the whole sample bottle. I mean, some of those most of these bottles, we have a bunch left in. Right, we have it. most of these look like this still. We we have a good amount oh, in. Right. You know, yeah, we're going through. Is double cold you know, taste on as well? Because if you do, that's even better. If you know Brian's barbecue, you know that's the best shit ever. Mm -hmm. Once again, Brian is coming with us to the Bastards Ball. Yay! Yeah, for a fucking treat. That is gonna be like. 
it's going to put everything else to shame as far as food goes that weekend. His shit is amazing. And like I said, we've talked it up. I've had people come try it like, okay, you weren't kidding. That really is the best fucking barbecue ever had. So it's not a joke. Brian is amazing with barbecue. So, yeah, if you guys want some awesome rubs, go to pitface.com. Try some more pitfacebarbecue.com. Get some amazing rubs. BBQ. It is Pit damn good BBQ. shit. And Donald BBQ. will say he even shipped it to Canada just for Donald to have. So Yeah, he did. Oh, no, I thought I had it in here. Oh, you got his pit-faced uh, little logo or whatever? Yeah, I thought I had it in here, but I don't have it in here. It's right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, dude. It's I do, right there. I'm not opposed to a baseball and barbecue night either. I am not opposed to that. Do I am, not. We could totally don't do that. Don't the top stuff. Just says pitfacebbq.com. That's the... Uh, well, why not? This this portion of, the, of it is, is brought to you by pitfacebbq.com. Okay. Even course. though Brian's not in here. All right, he the definitely knows. Our, the ending of our stream is brought to you by... He knows Pitfacebook. Brian. Yeah, he gives your butt the rub it deserves. He, you, you know exactly who he is then. Perfect. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Love it. Yes, Eric, we both had a pour from those samples, but you have to also remember there were 15 of them. I yeah. am feeling perfect right now. I am not drunk. I've got no. a pleasant, slight beginning exactly. of a buzz on. That's perfect exactly enough for at. me to go and lay down and pass out. Yes, yeah, so if you guys would like to speak in the Discord after this, I will stay on yep. for a few minutes while I finish up getting the edit done. As far as all the bullshit I add to it after Will does his magic, I add all the other crap to it, make a lovely, beautiful... Uh, Thumbnail, and then we put it out there for tomorrow. We are going to try a new thing with 2 p.m. instead of 7 a.m. to see if we did better because pancakes did great at 2 p.m. It works great if it doesn't we'll go back to 7 a.m. It's worth just trying something that hopefully it works and get a little more views because numbers have not been fantastic lately. But tonight was a good night. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Buffalo Mace Ultimate Buffalo Trace Mash Bill 1. And next week will be another fun stream. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, thank you. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers All to right. that. Cheers, everyone. Right, let's <laughs>